Hey, Victor here, RestoringMercedes.com. Uh, today we have a throttle body. This is the throttle actuator, actually, for Mark in Florida. It came from 91500SL. It's an early style that consists of two units, main potentiometer, the gas pedal potentiometer, and the actual um, actuator that sits in front of the motor. Okay, Mark, so here is what we what we have here now the internals of the unit gears all good move nice and effortless I can move it by just two fingers no noise no binding no scratching no sticking perfect so that's good news the motor I had to clean it up quite well because there used to be two deep grooves in surface contacts here where brushes used to spin and I had to actually make them nice and smooth so there's no possibility of brush uh, not to make good contact so that's done the actual brushes now the uh, brushes are all good I clean them all up the condition of the brush is good because they're nice and long spring loaded very nicely come back out they come back out nice and strong so I don't see a problem with spring resistance so that's good the reference potentiometer was opened up cleaned up checked for wear nothing found except for one crack on the case which I do not see being a problem here because it's just the case that holds the shaft the performance of potentiometer is same as it would be with crack or without there is no play in the gear so that's good I mean in the shaft so it works quite well now the problem area the wear on the micro switch actuator which is this black unit right here if you look at it there are two kind of like grooves see when I move it, it starts to appear Okay, so these are the grooves that I was talking to you about on the phone. You can see there is reflection in the center uh, of unworn area, and right here you have two grooves. That is where micro switch contacts actually slide against. Now the micro switch itself is extremely brittle, so it broke. Here is where it used to touch. As you can see, it even um, it even went through the metal a little bit, well, just pretty much polished it, but did not really took metal off, because obviously plastic will wear off faster than metal. The contacts themselves are still intact, I had to clean up nice, and um, the other part broke, which I'm going to have to epoxy together now and um, this is the material I was talking to you about some sort of old-school epoxy which is extremely strong that brown stuff and I cannot totally remove it because this would have been ideal but I have to keep it together unfortunately so we'll have to alter the actual contact both contacts versus um, actually taking the material out completely and moving the micro switch around its uh, position so I can get better readings. Um, do not want to do that because if I take this material out there might be more problems in keeping this whole thing synchronized. But um, this is what's happening. So this is the this is the contacts that we just right along here. Okay. So what would happen is, you know, like just like let's say I just hold it. As you can see, they rise up, and because of the wear, they rise up a tiny bit slower than they should, and. And you decelerate 
then they touch a little bit faster than they should. Therefore, therefore the car goes into limp mode because it's an error. They should not touch at that specific value, but they do. So I'm going to fix that. I'm going to fix them and epoxy everything together and make another video of the testing on the car. So here's what's happening with this unit. I should be done today with putting this thing together and I will still test it on the car when the throttle body is not assembled. I mean the actuator would be open. So I'll make a video of the movement of the internals so you can see them nice and clear. So that's what should that's what we should do. Alright, well I'll keep you posted on this one. I think we'll be just fine.